Hello YouTube. I'm back again. I want to talk to you today about uh first responders in the city. Now, I uh know a couple of first responders. I know uh, a couple of police officers personally. I remember when they first joined the force. I know a couple of firemen and I know one EMS worker. And uh we uh talked a couple of times in the past about what they would do if stuff would go bad. I haven't talked to them since I retired, but uh and it was interesting that their response and, and I didn't believe it and then I checked into stuff and, and each one of them told me that if the world was going crazy and everything was going to hell, they'd go home and be with their families. And uh, and I, you know, I just say, okay, you're saying that now. But then again, I started talking with other people. Uh, matter of fact, I talked to uh, I got a I got a nephew that's a CO, you know, and uh, he was telling me stuff uh, similar to to that. And so I'm 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 just kind of uh, odd about the whole situation. But I can understand it now because see, I, I had this image of the Rock and Charles Bronson as a uh, first responders, you know what I mean? That, uh, you know, no matter what, they're going to be right there at your doorstep for you, but I guess they're not. It's more it's more like, okay, I want to be with my family because my family needs me, and that's what's going to happen. So, I am not going to really depend too much on uh, first responders anyway, because uh, you probably can't get through on 911. I mean, you try to call 911 and, and stuff is going bad, then uh, you know the lines are gonna be clogged up. They're always clogged up, so you won't be able to uh, depend on them in a the disaster. I mean, and then it depends on what kind of situation it is. That if it's electrical and the power goes out for a while, that the first responders and EMS and firemen and and, uh, and a lot of the city workers and everybody they're gonna disappear anyway because everything is electronic. If you can't get paid, you don't work. And nobody want to work for free and and work on a promise, and so they're gonna they're gonna go home, and um, and then the ones that do show up, you really don't know if they're there to help you or are they a, a, a the gang in blue? I'm gonna just say it like that, okay? Because a lot of them they get together, and uh, I was told that they 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 do talk among themselves about what would happen. And where would they would get together and meet to uh, bug out together or whatever? So you might end up with a a, 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 a bunch of corrupt police mob, policemen and firemen and wh whoever that's coming to your door under false pretenses, to saying that they're there to help you and actually there to take your stuff. They're not necessarily there to kill you, but. They might be there to take your stuff. See, that's see, this is gonna be a difficult situation when everything goes bad because I, I figure it's a timeline to this whole situation that uh when stuff first happened at the beginning, everybody's gonna be we gotta help. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. Everybody's gonna be uh sheepdogs, as they say. But then after a while and who knows how long that while might be, that might be a week or three days after they find out exactly what the situation is and find out that they're not going to get paid and find out that there might not be a recovery or find out that they need to be home with their families because it happened before. Like I always tell people, it happened in Katrina and we all know that for a fact. But I'm just saying, and uh, who knows what they're going to do. As, as I like to say, it is what it is. So I'm just saying that the, you can't really depend on the local, the county, the state or even FEMA to show up at your door. I mean, if they do show up at your door, especially I would say if anybody show up at your door first, it will probably be the federal government. I mean, they probably won't show up at your door. I'm just saying that they show up in your area, in your city. I mean, because they're not going to have you um, wait on them door to door. You're going to probably have to go to them. They probably set up... Uh, Areas they always set up areas. I never seen them go to door to door unless it's a small disaster where they have to send out rescue people. But they will have people 
evacuate the cities, and that's going to be a problem. I don't see, I don't see cities being evacuated. It's just, it's just no way. I mean, you do the math, and you see, you got a million plus people in uh, New York City, and everybody trying to get out of that city. They're not going anywhere. So, like I said, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be insanity out there. It's going to be a lot of hostile and unrealistic situations that's going on. And uh, I just want to say, first responders, let me get back because I sort of drifted a little bit. First responders in the city, why are they coming to help you at the beginning? Are they going to stay and help you? No, they're not. Once they find out how bad the situation is, first responders would not be there. And us senior citizens, we better be prepared to take care of ourselves. If you're on medication, you're going to have to learn to self-medicate. I mean, you got you to gotta get uh, some herbal stuff you can keep around the house because you won't be able to go to the doctors. That's one thing that nobody ever talks about is the hospitals. Now, I do believe that the hospitals and those doctors there, some of them, and some nurses, I do believe that some of them are going to try to stay open. I just, I just have it in my heart that some of them are going to try to stay open because here in Cleveland, we're, we're big on hospitals. I mean, we got a big hospital system, you know, the Cleveland Clinic, uh, University Hospital, Metro. We got a, a lot of hospitals. I mean, so I do believe that they would try to stay open eventually they're gonna probably be uh, overrun but i i have no idea because i'm just uh, a guy just trying to find out what's going on like everybody else so i'm just saying that uh when the devastation happened stay in your house because they're going to tell you that anyway the first thing they always tell you is stay in your house they told the people in hawaii the same thing stay in your house and they were thought a missile was coming in 20 minutes and they tell them stay in your house and that was a sad thing. Every time I think about Hawaii, I think of them people putting those kids in the sewer. But that's a whole other thing. So I'm just saying that um, uh, will, the, will the government tell the truth about what's going on when the stuff do go bad? And that's going to be the key. If they tell the truth and you know what's going on, then you know how to prepare. But if they say everything's going to be all right, don't worry about anything, don't panic, then remember... It's always time to panic. That's when you get a panic. Not panic, panic, but you know, prepare yourself as preppers. Get your stuff together because when somebody tell you don't panic, they got it handled. They lying. They always do. And like I say, first responders, I love you guys. I'm right behind you guys. And like I said, but I, I think you're only human that when stuff goes bad and shit hit the fan, your humanity going to come out and you're going to go home to your families and that's when everything is going to change for everybody because there will be no help. You're going to have to look in the mirror for the help because that's who the help is. Okay, YouTube.